Directed by Ridley Scott, Gladiator is an epic historical drama that tells the story of a former Roman general, Maximus, who becomes a slave, who then becomes a gladiator, who challenges the emperor of Rome, Commodus. There's a pivotal scene in the film where Maximus steps into the Colosseum for the first time, defeats his opponents in a staged life-or-death game with some allies, and then meets Commodus again for the first time since the emperor sent Maximus to be executed. In this video, we'll look at the scene and explore its emotional center. The biggest question to ask is, what is this scene about at its core? The scene is also an example of how to write a powerful confrontation scene as we look at the subtext and how it's structured. Per usual, there will be spoilers for the story of Gladiator, so I recommend checking out the film before proceeding further. Leading up to this scene, which is approximately in the second act, the film has built up to this confrontation between Maximus and Commodus. Earlier in the film, the previous emperor, Marcus Aurelius, had anointed Maximus to end the empire and to set Rome free to become a democracy. Commodus, who is Marcus Aurelius' son, jealously intervened and murdered his father, leading to his ascension to the throne. Commodus then arrested Maximus and sent him to be executed, although Maximus escaped and was then captured by slave traders. However, Commodus also sent troops to kill Maximus' wife and son, thereby ending Maximus' dream to return home and to live a quiet life with his family. Training as a gladiator, Maximus makes his way back to Rome and has an overall objective of getting revenge on Commodus by killing him. So in this pivotal scene, Maximus, who has hidden his face with a helmet, enters his first life-or-death game in the Colosseum and defeats all the foes, aided by his fellow gladiators. After the game, Commodus heads to the arena floor to meet the heroic gladiator, not knowing it's Maximus. Commodus has initiated these brutal games in the Colosseum to win favor from the people of Rome by giving them bloody entertainment. He sees it as crucial to securing his power and place in history. When we're looking at the emotional center of the scene, it's really about two mortal enemies sizing each other up and laying the groundwork for their future man-to-man -man battle. Maximus wins a moral victory over Commodus in this scene and reveals his inner strength by unveiling his true identity. He will not be defeated or submit to the power of Commodus' title and position. This is a scene about a hero standing up to a villain by being true to himself and to his cause. Another way to analyze the heart of this confrontation scene is to compare the scene objectives for both characters and to see if they're in conflict with each other. Maximus has a scene objective to initially kill Commodus to get revenge, but this shifts to taking a stand against the Emperor and making a declaration of war. He wants to intimidate his foe. Commodus has a scene objective of using his interaction with the disguised Maximus to please the crowd and win favor. He wants the disguised gladiator to do his will by removing his helmet. So when Maximus declares war against Commodus, this upsets Commodus's scene objective. With these competing scene objectives, these two characters are essentially engaged in a fight scene with words and willpower. They're not using physical weapons or throwing punches, but these two men are clearly battling each other when Maximus reveals his identity. We can look deeper into the scene to find the beats that create this emotional center. At the top of the scene, when Commodus enters the arena floor, the disguised Maximus intends to kill him. Maximus kneels as Commodus approaches, but this isn't to show deference. He kneels to pick up a broken shard of an arrow to use as a murder weapon against Commodus. But Maximus's plan is thwarted when Lucilla's son, Lucius, suddenly runs into view and stands with the Emperor. We know Maximus is a decent man and can't kill his opponent in front of the boy. When Commodus praises the disguised Maximus and asks him to remove his helmet, Maximus refuses and turns his back to the Emperor. This is a significant move because it disrespects Commodus in front of the arena crowd. Commodus is clearly offended and demands for the gladiator to reveal his true identity. We can see that Maximus is caught, his back is against the wall, and he has no other option. He is taking a huge risk to reveal his true identity because that might throw off his plan to remain hidden and to find the next best opportunity to kill Commodus. But Maximus regroups and then chooses to remove his helmet. He chooses to take a stand against Commodus. When he reveals his name and his identity, he proclaims his allegiance to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, and also acknowledges his dead wife and son. He shows Commodus that he is not afraid and that he will have his vengeance. Essentially, Maximus is turning the tables on Commodus here. He's using Commodus's pride and joy, the Colosseum Games, as a tool against the emperor. We see this play out when the crowd demands for the Emperor to spare Maximus's life through a loud chant. Commodus has clearly been outplayed in this confrontation, and he goes through the motions, meekly giving a thumbs up to allow Maximus to live. 
It's all a show for the crowd, and Maximus has won the admiration of the crowd as they cheer. So because Maximus chose to reveal his identity to Commodus in this scene, it's a game changer in the escalating conflict between the two men. It heightens the drama and the stakes for the entire film, because now Maximus has to figure out and execute a different plan to get his revenge on Commodus. As a hero, he has been tested, and he rose to the escalating challenge. When Commodus confronted him and demanded he remove his helmet, Maximus could have made different choices. For example, he could have refused to remove his helmet, which may have led to him being incapacitated by Commodus' troops, and then he would have been unceremoniously revealed when they took off his helmet. This would not have been as strong of a choice, and it's not in line with what we know of Maximus as a character. He does not shy away in the face of intimidation or evil. When we see him in the first scenes of the film, he encourages his troops with the phrase, strength and honor, and this is a mantra that he lives out in this pivotal scene. As a hero, Maximus will take ownership of the moment and responsibility for what the consequences could be when he removes his helmet and lays out his agenda to Commodus. His choice to meet his opponent face to face and to not shrink back is a declaration of war against the Emperor. And every scene after this scene in the film is deeply affected by Maximus's choice here.